Hello, I'm John the Potter from Eastnall Pottery in the Flying Potter and today I'm going to show you how to make a coil pot owl out of clay just like these two little fellas here. Okay, so to make your pottery owl you'll need a lump of clay, you'll need a little plastic flower pot that's covered in cling film, um, a, a pottery knife and a sharpened stick or, or a pencil will do the job equally. So coiling is a, a, a traditional technique um, where you're working with long coils or long snakes of clay to build form. So traditionally, a coil pot, you'd start off by rolling, rolling the sausage, rolling out the clay into a long snake. <coughs> and then you may have a, um, like a, a base, and you'd actually kind of coil up, like so. The, the problem with this technique, you get to about sort of so high and the sheer weight of the clay and the whole thing begins to collapse. We've discovered a really good kind of cheaty way of making a coil pot where um, we actually coil the clay around, around a plastic flower pot that's covered in cling film. The cling film on there stops the clay from sticking to the, the, the flower pot. So <clears throat> we're going to be doing this one on quite a small scale but there's no reason why you can't do them around larger flower pots or even, even dustbins, we've done them round before. For a flower pot this kind of size, you roll the clay, put about the thickness of a, of a pencil, and then, then you just very simply wrap it around, around the pot like that, making sure you don't get any gaps in between your coils when you're, um, when you're putting them on. And do them one at a time, so you roll, roll the coil and then put it straight onto the pot. When you're rolling the clay, be aware that your hands um, are going to dry the clay out because the, the warmth from your hands will dry that clay. And also, you need to be working on a, on a surface that has a grain in it and it isn't lacquered or, um, or smooth, otherwise the clay will stick. But again, it was also, I don't know whether you can see, that the, the water is coming out of the clay um, and uh, drying the clay out as well. But pencil, pencil thickness coils and you just wrap them around your flower pot like this making sure you don't get any, any gaps as you go along. So you can do this very, very quickly. I work a lot with groups and uh, you know, if you have a, a class of maybe 30 children, um, within a matter of minutes you can you know, cover, cover some quite big flower pots and coils if everybody's working together at the same time. So it's a, a brilliant, brilliant technique. <clears throat> Now when you get to the top, you do need to actually go an extra coil on the top. You can't leave, um, you can't stop coiling at that level there. You need to put an extra coil on the top um, because eventually you are going to put some more clay, obviously the base, onto the pot and it needs something to anchor onto. So what I've done here is just put, gone up an extra one or two and then when I get to put clay on the top of there, it just gives it something to, to root onto really. <coughs> now if you were making a, maybe a, this into a coil pot, you know, you'd have a flat base, but we're going to produce a, an owl which has a slightly kind of domed, domed head. So I'm now going to use another technique, the thumb pot or pinch pot, and it's where you have the clay, and you stick your thumb into the clay, and then squeeze, but keep it moving in your hands, so you're turning all the time to make a little thumb pot, and then that thumb pot obviously you need to get it to the same diameter as those coils there, and then you stick it on. So I've now given it a tap just to make sure some of those coils are properly sitting um, on top of each other and you haven't got any, any air trapped in between the coils. I'm now going to smooth it off, so you just take your thumb, you just slide the clay down like this, just to really knit those coils together. So the coil pot is very much <clears throat> the name given to the technique of actually building the, the, the clay up into a, into a vessel or a structure. Um, but you don't actually, in most coil pots, you don't actually see the fact that it is, um, it is coiled. So once you've got, got your basic, basic shape, you can then think about the owl's, owl's features. So what I, I would do, I think, probably work on the, the eyes first of all. I might just take my thumbs and just squeeze them gently there, just to sort of denote where the eyes are gonna, gonna go. The clay is very, very soft as well, so you don't need water to actually stick, stick bits together with. Obviously if your clay is a little, uh, 
a little bit on the dry side you could probably use use a, just a, a little little drop of water just to make sure things stick. I'm going to use the um, very simple tools just to make make the eyes. Might give it a, some feathery feathery marks around the eyes and some little owl, owl ears. So I'm just getting some tiny little pinches of uh, of clay and just flattening them out. And then beak. <coughs> just going to roll a little little section of the clay. Just roll it into a little carroty shape, a little cone, and that will stick nicely, nicely in there. Some more feathers. Also, might give him some claws as well. So. Again, a bit like I did the beak, just tiny little pinches of clay. <coughs> you just roll one end of them. The clay is really, really soft, so you don't need any any water to stick these these bits of clay onto the onto the main body. When it's when it's got lots of water in it, when the clay is really, really soft, it's the best material in the world to uh, to work with. But as soon as it starts to dry out, um, it's impossible. And can be quite frustrating as well when you're trying to, to bend the clay into shapes and uh, it just cracks. So it's all about the condition of the clay that you're gonna gonna use. And you can always recycle rather than throwing it away. You can actually put it all into a, a bucket of water, and uh, the clay will kind of go back into a sludgy state at the bottom of the bucket. So you take all the water off, and then you've got this sludge which you can then dry out. And if you catch it at the right time you can then knead it back up into a nice plastic workable um, workable state. But there you go, that's how you make a, a coil pot owl.